downloaded from the server. I can scroll through the match terms. Here's a personal digital assistance and the announcement by Scully. Apple Search and Apple Share work together to make these workgroup servers solutions for storing and managing and providing access to documents and content. Uh, Apple Share provides the storage, uh, provides the security. Uh, it defines which users and which groups of users and what they're allowed to see and what they're not allowed to see. And then Apple Search provides content-based retrieval of the documents that I have stored on the server. Another feature of Apple Search is that I can schedule the reporter so that I get back this, the updated information on a regular basis. In this case, every Monday at 7 a.m. I want to get the updates on personal digital assistance. I'll then save it, and I'll have another reporter. The reporter then will deliver a newspaper. And the newspaper is the same set of information that would come back to me on an on a immediate search, but it's laid out in an easy-to-read format that looks like this. This is the article we were looking at before, and if I wanted to read its entire text, I could just click on this icon here. We've seen Apple Search uh, really fire customers' minds with the kinds of things that they want to do with it. In fact, we're consistently surprised with the new applications that customers are coming up with. Uh, of course, one of the most obvious is uh, storing and managing and providing easy access to my own documents, because even a small work group uh, builds up quite a library of documents over even a short period of time. And when I want to find something, I want to find it now, and usually I want to find it based on the content. In the legal environment, um, our product is the written word. Uh, right now we have a product called Status, where, which is a product that is extraordinarily difficult to maintain. And um, it allows attorneys to search prior work product for um, uh, something that's been done that relates to what they're currently working on. Apple Search is going to eliminate an enormous amount of, of work for us by integrating that function right into the, the workgroup server. And uh, we think it's probably one of the most uh, impressive attributes, uh, software attributes that are going to be delivered in the next year. The 40 server is our new multi-user implementation of 4th Dimension. And you use 40 server to access a database and provide access to multiple users. With 40 server, we significantly increase the performance of this multi-user access so that you can have many more users accessing data simultaneously. The nice thing about 40 server is that you can use any database created with 4th Dimension and use it with 40 server without having to make any changes or modifications to the database itself. This allows you to create a database and then put it on a server and give many people access to it very quickly and in a very short period of time. The new opportunity that uh, you have with 4D Server combined with the new server machines from Apple is that you can really address a much broader range of potential applications and solutions with these products. Uh, we can talk about building networks of Macintoshes and having many more users accessing and working with information simultaneously than we ever have before in the past. So we can have work groups now of 50 and even more users that are all accessing the same information in a fourth dimension database running on one of the new Apple server machines. And this has really been made possible both by the software technology in 4D server and the advance in the hardware and the server hardware machines from Apple. As we were developing 4D server, we really looked at what was happening with the advancement in hardware and specifically Apple's workgroup servers as dedicated server machines. So when we designed 40 Server, we wanted to take full advantage of these increased performance in server hardware and did a number of things in 40 Server specifically to make use of these new capabilities. We looked at better utilizing memory and the speed of the hard disk and access and the I.O. of these machines, as well as the overall improvement in the processor speeds as well. 
So we take those things together and use a client-server architecture to balance the workload between the server and the client workstations. We reduce the amount of network traffic. The total result is increased performance significantly, and we're able now to allow many more users to simultaneously access information in fourth dimension and do so in a very fast and efficient manner. The new opportunity that you have with 40 Server is that you can sell solutions now to a much broader market than was ever possible before. The nice thing about 40 Server is that everything you need is included in the package. There's software for the client workstations as well as the server machine, and it's very easy for the customer to install this software and get functional right away. So they can put a database up literally in a matter of minutes and have people get multi-user access to that information. This leaves you more time to sell solutions rather than have to support your customers afterwards. Oracle 7 for AUX runs on the Apple Workgroup Server 95, which is based off of the Quadra 950. It's a great opportunity to get into big corporations and big institutions where there wasn't a, a big presence of Macintoshes before. In the past, there have been a, a large presence of PCs, and there's been a little bit, or actually quite a bit of hesitancy for people to go ahead and commit resources to buy Macintoshes, because then they would have to re-outfit their whole office. Now with the Oracle 7 for AUX, you can easily tap into that market um, by putting in the server, by using any client you want, whether it's a Macintosh or whether it's another PC. So it doesn't have to be all Macintosh space. That way you can start infiltrating the Macintoshes in. You may have 1,000, 2,000 PCs in a company. And slowly, little by little, you can start having the Macs come in. You don't have to have everybody on the same machine. Um, and it, it really benefits everyone overall. Oracle 7 has a lot of new features. Binary large objects, for example, or blobs, allow you to store up to 2 gigabytes of data so that you can run programs like QuickTime. Oracle 7 also has two-phase commits. Two-phase commits allow you to store information in two different databases and allows you to move information from one database to the other without losing any information, especially if the database goes down in the process of committing the information. Oracle 7 uses shared SQL so that you can use SQL statements on one particular database and have many people access it so that you're not wasting a lot of space or a lot of time. Oracle 7 also has database integrity so that when you create the tables, you actually build in the integrity at that time rather than later on when you're creating the forms. In selling Oracle 7 for the Macintosh, you've got really two basic users that you're looking at. One, people who are currently using Macintoshes, and two, people who are not. If you've got somebody who's currently using a Macintosh, Oracle 7 for AUX is fabulous. The two companies, Apple and Oracle, have worked together to jointly release this product, and we've optimized it so that we're expecting up to, or actually surpassing, 50 transactions per second. We've gone to great lengths to isolate both the user and the administrator from Unix. For example, when you plug in and boot up the Apple Workgroup Server 95, the one server that runs AUX, you see Unix for about that long. And the next thing you see is the graphical Apple Share admin utility that looks just like Apple Share 3.0. Um, and when it's powered up, the first thing the system asks is, what kind of network am I attached to and who are my users? Apple's done a thorough analysis of the kind of service and support programs users are going to want as Apple provides complete client-server solutions. We'll be providing a number of new support programs, including for the first time, seven-day-a-week, 24-hour support. Installation isn't an afterthought at Apple. It's actually a technology. We have engineers here that do nothing but study the way people really use and install software. And for all of our products, there's a one-button install option, even the Workgroup Server 95. We sent all of them out in the recent March mailbox, and I would encourage everyone to get a hold of that as soon as they can. What they'll find inside is a selection of data sheets, sales briefs, performance briefs, and the lifecycle cost study data from the business research group. There's also a CD with some of the sexiest server presentations I've ever seen.